Hello and welcome to God blessings for you. Says Heavenly Father. I have a plan for your life. And a plan for the world. And it doesn't matter. What other people think of it. Or how much money. Or power you have in this world. My plan will work out just fine. I sent Jesus into the world to save you. All from your sins. So that you can spend eternity with me in heaven. You've been through a lot lately. You've been through a lot of things. That have hurt you. And made you feel like nothing. Will ever be good again. But I doesn't want you to give up on yourself. Or your life. I want you to believe in him. And I'll help you get through whatever comes next. Like this video. If you believe. I know you're a good person. Because I see it in your actions. And hear it in your words. I also know that people have hurt you. But I want my child to be strong enough. To stand up for what's right even. When it's hard. I want you to be strong. And I want you to help other people be strong, too. I'm here, I'm listening. And I'll never leave or abandon you. As long as we stay close to God. And trust Him with our lives. I will give you strength. When you need it most wisdom. When you need it most. And peace. When you need it most. I will give you hope. When there is no hope. Left at all anything. You are capable of anything. You have a purpose. And it's bigger than. You could ever imagine. You are here to make a difference in this world. And nothing will stop you from doing. Just that. You're a special person. And I want you to know that. I know it's hard to hear. Especially when. There's so much going on in your life. But I have a plan for each of us. And I want to be part of it. His desire. Is for us to be happy, healthy and successful. You are going to do great things. You can be more than you ever imagined. You're going to make a difference in the world. Your life is going to be filled with opportunities and adventures. And I want to give them to you. You don't have to do anything. Other than. Believe that God can make it happen for you. I have a plan for your life. I have a purpose for your life. And I'm going to help you get there. You know what I mean. People are cheering for you. Because you're doing great things. And making big changes in your life. The more they cheer for you, the more they'll want to help support your efforts and make them even bigger and better than they already are. I am here for you and I will always be with you. You just have to ask me for help and I will give it to you. I know you're trying. I see it in your face. When you look at me, I see it in the way you work and struggle and try again, when things seem impossible, and I love that about you, you'll be okay, you're not going to get through this alone, I am with you, I am waiting for this moment for a long time, so don't worry about it, being too late, you've got plenty of time left, just keep on believing in him, even when things seem impossible or hopeless, I will never gives up on us, and neither should we I know that you've been struggling I know that you feel like there's no way out of the hole you're in but I want to tell you something God is saying right now I'm going to lift this burden off your shoulders you see when we ask for help from anyone else it's easy for them to say no but when we ask for help from God, well, he has a way of turning things around for us. And I promise that this time will be different. I know it can be hard to believe in a higher power or even in yourself. You've been taught that there isn't anything out there except what you see and touch. But that's not true. You're not alone. And I'm here with you. 
You know what I'm talking about same feeling. That comes over you. When you're about to do something really hard. And then suddenly, it's easy as pie. Or maybe it's the feeling of having a breakthrough in your life. Or just feeling like everything is falling into place. This you are strong enough. And smart enough. And capable enough to make your dreams come true. You are my son. You were born from me. And I have loved you from the beginning of time. I want to tell you that. It is true. It is not just a saying. It is a fact. You were created in my image. And I am proud of you for being. Who you are. You have been given the power to make a difference in this world. And I want you to use it wisely. You were made for greatness. But sometimes. We forget that. We are human beings first. We forget that. We have hearts and minds. Just like everyone else does. And sometimes it's easy for us to get caught up in our own lives. When we should be paying attention to others needs too. But remember what Jesus said. The greatest commandment is. Love of God. As well as love of neighbor. When we put those two things together. Everything else falls into place easily. I want to give you a chance to be the best version of yourself. I want to give you a chance to live the life you were made for. I want to give you a chance to do great things. And I want to help you get there. When it comes down to it, we all have something we're good at. Something that makes us feel like we're living up to our potential. God put us on earth so we could do great things. And if we don't use what he's given us, what does that say about our relationship with him? So go out and do something amazing today. And then share it with someone. Who needs encouragement like you do? I made you for a reason. And I gave you the power to make your own reality. You were meant to use your gifts, talents, and skills in ways that will help others grow. You are here for a reason. And when you start to see yourself as someone who has been given incredible gifts, that can help others grow. It's easy to start thinking about how those gifts could be used in ways that are good for everyone. Don't let the world tell you that. You're not good enough. You are good enough. You are enough. You are love. Don't forget to leave your prayer request and type Amen in the comments.